Hey everyone, Ryan here. Welcome back for more Wrestling Talk. This week, I would like, actually like to talk about Dominic and Rey Mysterio. How good of a team they actually have become with a father and son uh, forming a team as it is. But before I talk about this even more in depth, I, I just want to go back to last summer when uh, Dominic uh, did his uh, first in-ring uh, debut, which was, I, I gotta say, uh, outstanding. I, it was uh, on the learning curve as it is, and he was uh, learning his stuff from his own father, uh, Rey Mysterio. But Oh my gosh, he, Dominic is turning out to be a, such a great wrestler from other uh, Jane's have its own father as it is. So anyways, going back to last summer, if you guys can remember when uh, Dominic first entered with his enemy uh, debut, he was had him the other uh, face of Murphy and Seth Rollins. And these two were also a really good team in the past with uh, Murphy and Seth Rollins. That's another story for another time. I uh, would like to talk about uh, why Murphy's coming back to Seth Rollins. It's hard to tell. And where is uh, Ali and Mysterio this as well? But anyways, I want to talk about the, this uh, team of uh, Ray and Dominic. How much uh, force they have actually done to uh, the WWE. And uh, what <laughs> surprises we've actually have, have seen. The reason I really wanted to do this is because uh, this last uh, Friday, when uh, both uh, father and son, uh, Dominic and Ray, were teaming up, they beat the Street Profits. And Street Profits have uh, had those uh, championship belts for quite a while. They uh, took the win over them. And Dominic Mysterio would took the win, believe it or not, over this uh, victory over uh, the Street Profits. And uh, it just seems like lately, he's been, Dominic has been proving himself for the good. He didn't beat uh, uh, King Corbin uh, like a couple weeks, maybe like a month ago. And King Corbin is another uh, wrestler that has been around for a while and making it quite an impression in the WWE. So Dominic is uh, showing off his roots really good. When I, I see uh, Ray and Dominic together and do that double 619, I think that's the greatest thing you can actually see. Right away, I'm gonna uh, say, what do you guys uh, think, WWE Universe, uh, where this is actually gonna go? Will you actually think uh, Ray and Dominic actually will get this uh, chance at, at the uh, tag team belts? Think, this thing about it, father and son, has that ever happened in the WWE history? I don't think so. That would be really exciting to actually see this. So. I, I know uh, Dolph uh, Zingler and Robert Roode were uh, out by our ringside of this the other night watching this uh, match going on, and they really seemed like they seemed like they were really impressed with Dominic this as well too. So, where is this uh, story going to go, and what do you guys actually think is going to happen with this? And what I actually think about it too with uh, Fastlane this uh, coming up uh, this weekend this as well. The tag team uh, champions, uh, Dolph Ziggler and uh, Robert Roode, do not seem like they have a match uh, set up, but it, this is setting up for a really good match. At, at the at WrestleMania coming up, WrestleMania 37. They really are building this up towards a WrestleMania 37. Usually, with the, uh, those uh, tag belts, they usually have just not just like one or two other teams. I see this as a bigger four way happening at WrestleMania 37 with the the, uh, the other uh, teams of maybe Do Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Uh, we got Otis and uh, Gable that look are looking really good as it is right now. And uh, the Street Profits will enter this uh, match as well. So th there you go. Maybe uh, this will be the perfect match for WrestleMania 37. And maybe uh, th th if this could actually happen, seeing Dominic and Rey Mysterio actually win on uh, the biggest stage of them all at WrestleMania 37, that would be the, one of the biggest highlights if that actually did happen. So what do you guys actually think? Do you think this is setting up to a four-way tag team uh, match at WrestleMania 37? I'd like to hear your comments down below. Uh, I think this is a signing what, how Rey and Dominic are on, on the same page as it is right now anyways. I'm saying on the page right now because it would be quite interesting if somehow they were to go their separate ways. And we can actually see a Dominic Mysterio uh, as see what, how well he can actually do as an individual. It's great to have him, uh, your father out there, of course, with uh, the greatest of them all with Ray Mysterio. But what if he uh, somehow Dominic went his uh, separate way with the WWE, maybe on SmackDown or maybe Raw. And maybe the next time Raw and SmackDown do their next uh, draft, maybe something might happen with the Rey Mysterio and Dominic. Maybe uh, one of them will be on one of the shows on SmackDown or the other one on Raw. But as of right now, I think it would be really exciting to actually see on the greatest stage of them all at WrestleMania 37. If they get the opportunity, a uh, chance of those uh, tag team belts, they get that opportunity to win those belts. And that would be what I was saying. Don't you guys actually think? What do you guys, WWE Universe? So at this time, I'd like to hear from you guys, uh, hear those thoughts. What do you actually think is going to happen? What do you actually think from uh, the other night from uh, Friday Night's uh, SmackDown when uh, Dominic uh, pinned uh, one of the Street Profits in the middle of the ring for one, the one, two, three uh, call? And I really think this is really exciting of what Dominic has been doing. He's been doing an awesome job ever since his uh, in-ring debut from uh, last summer. And up to now, he looks more impressive than ever. And standing next to uh, this uh, famous uh, dad, Rey Mysterio, 
they are a great form, aren't they? But I, once again, I'm, I really think uh, down the line, it would be uh, cool to see uh, him uh, be uh, maybe on one show and his uh, dad on the other, of course. Uh, this is that way he can uh, stand by himself this as well. Ray Mysterio is an all-time favorite of one of mine. I'm glad to see his uh, son come out and do what he does at best along the line of what Ray Mysterio actually can do this as well. And if you guys didn't know, but it's about me to do this as well too. As one of my favorite wrestlers, Ray Mysterio is one of my favorites. He uh, does what he does. He's great at what he does. And he, ever since he came back too, I think he's been pretty impressive even more. Even though I think he's been impressive the whole entire time he's been with the WWE. And uh, seeing that he's brought his uh, son into the James of uh, wrestling this as well. Donovan is looking greater than ever. It seems like I, I know in the beginning he was uh, has some learning stuff, like again I say. But now he's looking pretty impressive, I had to say. I always look forward to uh, when uh, they do team up, uh, John McKinnon and Ray Mysterio do the double 619. I always get on my PC, double 619. <laughs> and once again, I think this is really exciting to see a father and son actually uh, wrestling together. I think that this is great. So anyways, I want to start wrapping things up. Love to hear your comments out there. This is well with the WWE Universe, what you guys actually think with what is going on. And especially what is going to go on with the storyline, even more with, between Dominic and Rey Mysterio and where they may actually actually go. Do you actually think I might be right with my theory about them going to WrestleMania 37? And winning that belt on this bigger stage of them all, like again I say, would be really exciting as it is. So once again, this is uh, Wrestling Talk with me. Uh, my name is Ryan. Thank you. Make sure you give me those thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.